I want to talk about a little enhancement that came to partitioning that a lot of people are unaware of. Way back in Oracle 11, I think it was, we introduced interval partitioning. And many, many people, if you're a DBA that's ever been called out at the middle of the night because one of your partitions failed to get created in advance, you'll be well aware of the benefits of interval partitioning. The ability to create just one partition and then define an interval from which all subsequent partitions will be automatically created. Very cool, it's been around for a long, long time. A lesser known partner to interval partitioning is the concept of what you do when you have a list partitioned table. For example, on your little mobile phone application, you may have a drop down that lets people choose their gender. And on day one, I may have implemented it just with male and female, and that table consists of a partition for each gender. You can see here my table called people has one partition for males and one partition for females. But of course, any modern application needs to be a bit more flexible nowadays when it comes to gender. And so you may want to change your application to allow male, female, unspecified, or any other facilities that actually make the application a little bit more modern. But just going ahead and changing the application is going to create you some problems for a list partitioned table. If that on-screen value of unspecified maps to a value of you and you try and insert you into your list partition table that only contains partitions for male and female, then you're going to have a problem. However, just like interval range partition tables, we now have the concept of let's consider an interval partitioned list table. And we do it with the keyword called automatic list partitioning. Now what we do is we create our table and we use the keyword automatic. Now, just like interval partition tables, you must nominate at least a single partition to start with. Then all subsequent values that come in will automatically create an appropriate partition for them. So now when I go ahead and insert my new value with an unspecified gender, I automatically get a new partition with the system generated name, just like interval range partition tables. Be aware, of course, we still have a limit of 1 million partitions. So this is going to be most appropriate when you have a discrete list uh, of values that you expect to come in over time. If you're expecting an infinite number of values, then perhaps automatic list partitioning is not for you because you may get into limits of ridiculous numbers of partitions. But it's nice to know that we have this safeguard now that we're not going to get caught with application errors just because we have new application requirements. Automatic list partitioning is going to be that insurance policy for DBAs.